I knew something was up with him when he slowed down and went, he's watching us. And then he followed along and we went a little bit further and then he followed along and I went, and then you had said, watch that truck. And I was already in alert, red alert, right? This guy's going to get stuck. Watch. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. oh, I oh, see no. that coming. <laughs> All right, in this video, we're gonna jump back to 2022 with my 22 Renegade X850 and finish the ride with at sled 519. What a blast we had that day. I had the first video edited nine months ago and was dying to get the second half out, but my external hard drive had other thoughts and erased a ton of folders on me without my knowledge. I ended up finding these clips in a Final Cut Pro media folder and I was so ecstatic when I stumbled across them. So here we're gonna go from the bra fence to Baysville and back to Barry again. It's a long video, I crammed it all in, but we had lots of laughs and we even had a run in with some crazed, intoxicated local that stalked us for a couple concessions and then tried to run us down with his truck when we crossed the road. Mike handled this situation exceptionally well and we headed on our way just to find some mayhem in the ditch just to end our day of big mileage. Hope you enjoy the video. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite part was. If you want to subscribe, that button's right there. Hit the notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy. I love this kind of ride right in here. This is the goat path Denon was talking about. Right up that and I'll get a photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> Send it! Yeah. How cool would you be on Instagram sitting up there? Come on! Get up there! I wouldn't even know the first way to get up there. <laughs> right up there. You got oh, studs. Yeah, just right up that chute. You got studs. Come on. <laughs> chicken. Yeah, I'm chicken. This is Muskoka riding right here, right? Oh, this reminds me of Perry Sound days. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that Perry Sound behind a Jolly Roger? Yeah. That, that uh, the trail, it's like a roller coaster? Yeah. That is freaking awesome. Yeah, the, the, uh, the ski trail, yeah. Yeah. I used to ride that all the time. Yeah, that's so fun. We did it for the first time last year. My son's got it mapped on the BRP Go because he wants to do it again. I remember back in the day, like when I was really young, they used to have two, didn't, didn't they used to have two sets of trails? They had like intermediate trails and then they had expert trails. Do you uh, remember that? Not, not everywhere. Like I don't, I don't remember it really in our area. I, I remember up in like the Perry Sound area, because my dad was always like, oh, who's coming with us today? Okay, we gotta ride the easy trails. And if he was going out with his buddies, they would go ride the advanced trails. I wouldn't doubt that in that area, like that, uh, that roller coaster area, they did that because some of that is pretty steep. Like my wife would shit her pants, I think, on some of those trails. Well, I remember as a kid. There, I hit bottom there. Let me know if you did at the nope. bottom of that hill, no? Nope. Oh, I can't wait for smart shocks. Now, I remember as a kid, always taking the easy trails because it was always me, mom, and dad. And as I got a little older, dad and I, with some of his buddies, we went the advanced trails. And I remember some fucking gnarly hill climbs. That's and, awesome. And then when I rode the sea trails like a year or so ago, I was like, what happened to those fucking gnarly hill climbs I remember as a kid? Yeah, maybe, true. Maybe, maybe they're still there, and I'm just like, I'm older now, they're not so gnarly, but... Yeah, that's right, yeah. Well, that's saying when I rode, when I was a kid, I rode a 1972 Moto Ski Capri, so everything was an expert trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's different between a 21 Renegade 850 and a 4.4 and a 97 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a 299 single cylinder, no compression release. That's freaking awesome. What's with this? There's no bumpy trails. This is awesome. So a year ago, yeah, it was last year, Drew and I were out with Mike K and we're riding trails like this and he goes, oh, I'm sick of this, like this bumpity bumpity bump. And he goes, we got onto Gold Lake Narrows and headed down the river and he took us through like a, like basically we just pointed and went up over all the rock. It was so cool. And we were the only ones, like there was other tracks that were covered in snow, but it was like, he just goes, yeah, I think it's over here. Oh yeah, we'll go this way in. And uh, we seen some pretty, I did a video on my channel, no permit needed or something like that, I called it. And the, uh, cause you didn't need, it's not OFSC, it was just, it's just basically going through up, up shit like that and along the top. And it was the same type of terrain as this. Like, this is cool. So cool. There's a shovel if you get stuck. That's just a little kid here. Oh god, look at that. That's wicked. I don't even know what the hell he's on. Oh, he just goosed or whatever it is. Oh, an evil. That's pretty cool. The kid, kid gave her a brap when he heard me coming. <laughs> He's learning well. Oh, fuck. Whoa, fuck. Mike, I'm Mike, just kidding. My kid's riding a, uh, an Arctic Cat 120 right now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> no, it's good to get him out. Yeah, I've got him in, uh, I've actually got him in Snowgrass this year. Oh, are you serious? That's wicked. Yeah. Look, oh, at yeah. this, look at this, Toto. We're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, shit, no. Look at that. Look at them all. All the knockdown. That was the last time I came through here. I was going so fast. Uprooted trees. This is freaking cool. I don't know what we're on, whether it's lakes or swamps or what. Dodging trees. Like, do you find the smarter socks take away any of the playfulness like that? Like, like, are no. you st are you still able to do shit like that? Oh yeah, I don't think it takes away anything. It just kind of, it does like it. If you hit it wrong, if you land wrong, it kind of takes away the harshness of the landing. Yeah, that's what I like. I got a bad back and it's those negative G's that, that I hate. Like you come down a hill and it bottoms out and it goes up again. And yeah. you hit the bottom, like roller coasters. I have to put my hands on the seat and lift my butt off the seat because it's, uh, my, my back can't handle it. That's what I'm looking forward to on the Gen 5 is that, that with the Smart Shocks is that getting rid of that negative g-force any technology that makes you ride longer and with less fatigue is uh, worth every penny that, that was exactly my mindset when I got it that and I'm just I'm horrible at trying to set up my own suspension yeah that's right I, I never do it right I always screw it up I always guess wrong or whatever this way to take all that out of it yeah well, that's the thing, even these, like, I, I have been playing around with them. Not today, I haven't, because it was soft from the last time we were out. But I know a lot of guys that have these tunnel adjusters, and they don't even touch them. And it's like, they're there for a reason. Yeah. They don't even offer them on the new sleds anymore. For the tunnel adjust? No, nope, you can't get it. Which is sad, but... Graven hurt. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby!
the fact that it still has balls to go, like, you're doing 152 and it's going like, uh, I, I can play more if you want to push it a more. Yeah. I went up to 175 there uh, on the lake. Yeah, I was, I was doing about 172 at that same point. Land trail, lake trail. I don't know what, whether it makes a difference or not. The land trail kind of to me might be roads, possibly. Ah, uh, yep. your restraints and keep your feet in the ride at all times. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, I think the land trail might have been a lot of this. I don't know. Oh, likely. You should see you should see the map. It's just like a snake. want to say this is where we can come in after we went all the cross-country trails. Yeah. that way. What does it say straight? No, say, it's showing Gravenhurst that way. Like, right. To the left? Um, it's telling me to go straight here though. Did you set a trip meter before we left today? Yeah, we're at 121 kilometers. Yeah, good, because I was going to say, how are we going to brag about how far we went today if we don't have mileage? Oh, I got her. I set her. Yeah, good. See, I love this kind of riding. Yeah. If it was groom, think of how nice this would be. This is the MNSR or whatever it is, Mus Muskoka Snow Roamers or Runners or Region or something like that. Oh really? It doesn't start getting good till you get to the hill and gully part. Which we probably won't see today, but definitely beats like burning farmer fields back home. Yeah, exactly. But it's it's sad because look at how little snow there is right here. You know, yeah. I think we had more in the bushes at New Dundee than we do on the side here. Like usually these are a good foot, two feet tall. Like this area did not get snow this year. It's sad. You can tell just on the lake, you can see the ice. I'm like, yeah, they're not getting a lot here. No. Oh, they know what? Oh. I've got a video one year where I flew over that hill and landed and I broke my back and I stopped up here. <laughs> we gotta get a picture here. It's gonna come back up. This is my uh, this is my country though, my cottage country. It's uh, I love it here. Ah, I miss this area. But again, I gotta my son will have a picture on this very bridge and uh, I bet you it's. I bet you you can't see that board. Usually, usually in Baysville, the bridge going across the Arriba side, it's just got one or one and a half bars showing, and we went over this year, and it's got like five or six. Like it's crazy. There, we're connected. Three kilometers. I can see that. Now we're stopped. I gotta get a Princess Auto with a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun. Woo, there's one. Zero 
gravity. This is, this is awesome. My son is gonna freak. Get that one there. <laughs> okay, let's map to uh, let's map to Baysville because we're not far at all, man. Baysville is like there, like so. This is uh, the next two exits would get you down to Baysville, so we're close. That's if your smart shock's body isn't worn out yet, is it? No, I, I think it's still hanging in there. <laughs> the best part about the, the maps and you go to eateries. There's Summerland General Stores on here too, eh? Is it? Alright. Is it like a restaurant? There, there's Cast Iron Restaurants 30 kilometers away. So if we go to the cast iron, there's a place across the road I want to try called the Pavilion. My my wife's gonna kill me because she wants to go there, but they say it's awesome. Let's give her a go. Yeah. Like, I won't tell your wife. Twenty nine k. Oh, we're gonna send a picture of her to her. <laughs> go on. Sorry about your luck. I this this blows me away, man. That we came this far and it doesn't feel far at all. No, like we've only done. Like what my, we got here? Bring this back up. What do we do? We've done 133 kilometers. Yeah, that's cool. No. Like that's easier. We come up late. If we get here late at night, we'll go, let's go to Baysville. And we'll hit Baysville and go, okay, we're going to go to Dorset. be a bumpy ride on those things. Oh god, I can already Dude. feel my back seizing up. That's the thing, the the, uh, the Gen 4, man, it makes you a better rider and can ride further and faster. Whoa, that's... I'll just go over on this side to make sure that this side's good. Yep, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Perfect. That's good, good. Thanks yeah. for checking on that. Yeah, we want to know if it's okay for the way back, right? Like. <laughs> Some spots along here you gotta watch because the cops are. I, I think I think it's right after this through here. It's like a golf course or something, and uh, they'll sit over these hills here. The nice thing about these gen these A50s is they backshift so good too, right? They backshift. What do you mean? Uh, when you let off the gas, you don't need to use brakes. They, they, oh, yes, I know what you mean. Yes, I know. I don't have to work the brakes so hard. This, Love that. Oh, this is the falls. Right there. See? Oh, shit, look at that. Damn it. Shit. Shit. Yeah, this is really cool. Wait till you go across here, bud. You might want to get a picture of this. Show the show the fans at home. Oh yeah. That's beauty.
So we, always, we usually always watch this waterfall when we come up to the cottage so we know how wet it is, how much rain we've got. Because if, if it's not flowing very fast, it's been dry. If it's gushing, like it'll just, just spew out there, you know it's wet. Like the lake level will be high, the, the trails will be wet, right? Yeah. Love it, love it, love it. Forgot about that. It's, it's like a... Feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. I feel like I'm on too new of a machine right now. <laughs> <laughs> is this Back to the Future? Marty, what year is it? It's 2003! <laughs> my mind off the highway when I'm driving north. I can just look in here and go, oh yeah. Remember that day?
busy in here, huh? Pardon? It's busy through here. Oh, yeah, very busy. Must be getting close to town. Holy crap. My wife didn't want to ride over this. Oh no? No. I can see my wife not want to either. No. Yeah, we turned around at the brewery. She looked ahead and goes, no, that's not for me. She goes, we go along the road? I go, no, up on the side there. No, that's not for me. <laughs> Baby, turn. Oh, that's cool. All the outdoor uh, stuff there. restaurant there on the other side of the LCBO is really good too, the Cast Iron Grill. Okay. Yeah, they're, if you're ever in this area, they got really good hamburgers. Probably the top, probably the top three hamburger in Muskoka. Seriously, good burger then. Yeah, it's a good burger. I almost would say two, but... Look at all the sleds at that plate. This is awesome. And I never even knew it existed till this year. Oh my god, this is awesome. Wow. I haven't seen the collection of sleds like this in a long time. No. back right in there, I think. Old 1000 there. Here, I'll let you through there. I love this. That's awesome. Wow. I miss this about COVID, right? Yeah. Had a good meal at the pavilion in Baysville. Yep. We're uh, heading home. Know what's that for next time? I know, that's good. That's odd that the cast iron's closed though. That's uh, sad because they've got good. F I think they're open January, February. Maybe they close for March and April and they open in May again. Oh man, I wish I was going to the cottage and sleeping there. That's <laughs> my heat link on, damn it. Oh Come shit, on. I'll wait for you. <laughs> We'd be home in half an hour. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. It won't be that bad. It's fun. It's a good ride. Yes. 
All right, I'm good now. You good? See, that's why the comms are so awesome. You can tell your buddy what you're doing. Instead of me leaving for a half an hour and wondering where you went. Be like pretending it just to catch up. Yeah, exactly. Like Blowing every turn. <laughs> no, this, this experience has definitely changed my uh, attitude towards song. Yeah. Lots of sleds. Yeah, so the village of Port Sydney is only 28 kilometers from here. So you figure if you do 40, 50k an hour, that's only half an hour. Yeah, you're just so we're, do, we're doing 80 kilometers an hour. You're doing your 15, 20 minutes. So I, I knew it didn't take long to get here. Oh, we just passed your hanging place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. It would be easy to miss if you didn't know it was there. Oh, yeah, you're flying through. Like, you're flying this way. It's awesome. Yeah, I love it up here, man. Like, I can't believe it took me so long to get a sled because, like, our f we share hold 45 acres and the snowmobile trail runs behind our place. So it kind of divides our lot with the neighbors. And uh, I always said, you know, I got to get a sled. I got to get a sled. And then it's like I brought the kids up when they're little for the winter and bucket flush the toilet. And I put a heater in it and like a propane furnace. And now it's got, I've got an electric shower. It's got, I've got a little electric pump. Oh, I've, got really? a, I've got a tap, you turn the tap on, as soon as the pressure releases in the line, it starts pumping, comes out the shower head, you turn the tap off to stop the shower, pressure stops, the pump stops. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty uh, clever idea. I want to do a video on it, but I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. That is kind of cool. Oh yeah, because everybody's wondering how we shower there. We have The hot shower after a day of ride like this is a game changer. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, well, give me one second. No, I'm, I'm not there yet. Oh, okay. I just got the map. It takes a bit to turn on. All right, now I'm good. Slow down on that one. Oh. Holy! <laughs> what happened there? You should hear my sled. It runs like shit. Like <laughs> I can hear it, man. The bottom there dropped goes. out on you. That's a weird, eh? I got some good air on that. It's funny it caused this sled to run like crap there for a sec. Oh, you'll be loving the smart shocks through here. Jesus. Another one. Whoa, whoa, be careful on that one. These are the trails I think I was telling you about near Gravenhurst. I think these are them. Then we turned around and we went, went ripping back past on them so we could go fast. These are definitely them. Yep.
on that one too. Another big one. Another one there. Oh, a couple small ones. I think it ends up here. Those guys look like they're three sheets to the wind too, right? <laughs> I'm impressed that little thing can take you full grown, huh? I don't know. It's basically like a kid's ATV with a two-up seat in it, right? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. too far west for the falls that sucks i think they reworded part of that trail oh it probably did there was a spot where people used to go off trail like or well, you're not supposed to but after those big whoopy whoopy hills there was a field that everybody just tore the shit out of and i, I know they had tried to block it off and people kept on doing it i think they probably closed it which sucks This is the, I think this is where we came off that goat path earlier, okay. I, do, I do believe. And it's having us go left now, remember we came out of there. Yeah, I remember this, because we went... We went lake trail, shit, we should have went that way. Oh well, maybe this isn't horrible. Yeah, because that was lake or land trail, right? Right. Lovely. Pretty high up here. Oh yeah, we high. This is cool, man. Uh, that must be the lake trail there, yep. So that's the split. That didn't take too long. Cache Lake. We thought.
through here. Summerland General Store. Hey. All right, this is where the pizza is. How'd we end up here? I'm gonna mark a pin on this anyway, since we've got it. I don't know how we ended up here, but we're here. I don't know how we ended up here, but that's kind of cool. Again, another place that I've never been to. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Like, who'd have thought you'd ever stumble on this? Like, I would have remembered this place for sure. Yeah. Summerland General Store, keep that in the back, huh? Yeah, like they say they got the best pizza, right? Look at the little fire they got going outside, too. Look at that. You all love it. I love Muskoka. Yeah. Yeah, it's recording now. I don't think I was there. Might have been and just shut off, but yeah. Oh, well. You can't get all the good stuff. It's that weird time of night where you can't see the definition in the snow, right? I know exactly what you mean. I was thinking that earlier too. It's like, oh, dang. And it didn't look that bad. And I was like, oh, I'm just putting along here. And it's like, bang. Like, it's just one of those. It's like... I might have got a cowboy award for that one. <laughs> you held on. Oh yeah. You you lost the eight seconds. All those wa <laughs> all that watching Yellowstone's paying off, man. <laughs> <laughs> eight seconds, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I was being dragged, and you said, "Are you okay?" I'm, I'm still being dragged. I'm going. Ah, I think I got this. <laughs> <laughs> it must have looked awesome from back there. Well, you were just like bouncing, you're like, oh, 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 oh god, what, okay, what part is him and what part is the sled? <laughs> That's right. Oh wait, the sled just got shorter. That's the one. That <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah, my oxygen hot light would have been lit up too. <laughs> Oh yeah, there he goes over there, and the tail light's over there. Whoa, that's a big one. Man. That's why it's only 50 kilometers an hour. That's where I wonder how smart shocks would have reacted on that. It probably would have saved that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't mean Let's that. Let's do this. This is where we got messed up earlier, right? Yeah. So it looks like everybody's... Uh, is everybody turning here? Is there no... Oh, no, there's an arrow there. Perfect. I was going to say, is there no arrows around here? 
fine. What did he what? do? Did he pull ahead? He's trying to block me off. I apologize, sir. What did he do? I apologize. I'm sorry. I don't have. I don't have two bucks to give you. I apologize, sir. I can't make reparations for your coffee at this moment. That is something I will do, sir, and I apologize for it. It's BB77786. It's a okay. beige GMC pickup. Pardon? I, sorry? I know, and trust me, I'm, I get it. I'm, I'm internalizing it. I'm sorry. I will do better. Oh, I didn't hear your horn. It's a loud engine. I will, sir, the best I can do for you right now is to promise that I will do better in the future to not let this happen again. He wants $2 for coffee? <laughs> well, he said more like 10. Oh, I wonder how many people he actually gets to pay. That, you dumbass. He wasted 10 bucks of gas sitting there waiting for you. That's, well, you handled that remarkably well, dude. Well, what else are you going to say? Exactly. In that situation, what else can you do? Nothing. I don't have a $5 or a $2 to give you. And all I can say is, if he, he genuinely feels I'm in the wrong. Yeah. So I was like, all I can say is, look, I'm sorry. I know. Exactly. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I'm in the wrong. But you got, you basically, you got, you got to give him a reason to stop you. I, exactly. What an yeah. asshole. I knew something was up with him when he slowed down. And I went, he's watching us. And then he followed along, and we went a little bit further, and then he followed along, and I went, and then you had said, watch that truck, and I was already in alert, red alert, right? Yeah. So, holy, yeah, what I mean, a... I think maybe, maybe when we crossed the road there, I didn't do a double check, and... No, it wasn't that. He was just looking for money. He sees two guys with fucking new sleds, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... Oh, we saw those guys earlier. Yeah, that's right. Scooby Doo. Yeah. Oh, look at that light he's got on the bottom. I was like, F you, I'm gonna go. Because well, I was gonna go too, but then he started pulling out in front of me. You know, hit me, buddy. Let's see how that goes for you. That's why I like the camera too. It's like, okay, bud, give us your best shot. That, there he is, right there again, eh? Yeah, that is him. Yep. I don't know, I should maybe phone the cops and just report it anyway. I don't know kind of where we are though. I don't know what road this would be or anything like that. Maple Valley Farms is uh, close by. Oh, he's doing some side hilling. He's, he's pu putting that free ride to the test. This guy's gonna get stuck, watch. Uh oh, 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 oh. Oh, I oh, see not coming. All right, let's give me a hand. And then ask him for 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. The, uh, did you see that beige pickup truck driving around the road there? No. The guy was following us along the roads. Yeah. Pulled out in front of us and we tried to cross and want money from us. Is that right? Yeah, he wanted two bucks and then he wanted ten bucks. We, 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 we hit somebody uh, last year and he was parked on the side of the road. And what did he want to sell you? Oh, he wanted to sell me like that gold chain. <laughs> did he? <you? laughs> no, he was, uh, I thought he was out of gas. He was sitting in a van, right? And I'm like, we pull up the boat. I'm like, hey man, what's wrong? Hey, no problem. That's what we do. Yeah, two bucks or ten bucks. It's up to you guys. <laughs> no, watch that guy. He's. I think he's been loaded too. There you go. There you go. Look at that. 
Let the free ride guy do it, huh? <laughs> God, the adventures of the mud brats. <laughs> Oh yeah, for sure, right? How many oh. how many K so far? We're at 314. Woohoo, buddy! That's awesome. Love that's it. A, that's a big day. Very happy with this day. We'll be we'll be like 347 by the time we're done. Oh, uh, we should go passing, do 400. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that one for another day. <laughs> yeah, that's right. The trails were better. The, the sign said, welcome to Snow Voyager Trails. And I said, it's more like ditches, not trails. <laughs> so if this is what you guys want to brag and trail. <laughs> yeah, that's right, exactly. We're back in the home stretch. When I get in the truck, my body's not going to know how to stop going up and down. <laughs> it's going to keep bouncing in your cab all the time. Exactly. Like Jim Carrey. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> We're the wow. only two vehicles here. <laughs> That's awesome. <sighs> that is awesome. <laughs> ah, we closed down the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get a night picture now. That works. That line up. Yeah, that works great. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me turn it back on. Holy! So what's what's the total kilometers now? Three forty-seven, right on the nose. Right on, buddy. It was three forty-seven of fun, man. It was a good day. Yeah, it was that awesome. Was a good run. 